more viable. Uh, oh. Uh, did you know that his up B used to be shorter? No, I did not. Yeah, it did. He learned something new every day. It's terrible. Whoa. He, literally unplayable. <laughs> like, like, literally unplayable. Wow. Whoa. But anyway, never mind. We were lied to. Yes, yeah, C-Blub actually you know, pulled a fast one on no, us. No, no, no. See, it was just like you were talking about. You see how a lot of them dropped him after the nerf. This is this is a continuation of that conversation. <laughs> With a better choice. Uh, arguable. Cloud's like... Uh, first off, I think Peach is kind of fine. He's just like high maintenance. Mm -hmm. Cloud, you know, he's good. Cloud's not as much micromanagement, because with Peachy, you got to micromanage, like, how much damage you do to yourself and whatnot, you know? Cloud, uh, you have limits sometimes. You can you can pay attention to it, or you can not. Yeah. It doesn't matter that much. It's not like a final smash like the last game. Oh, my god. I've heard horror stories about Smash 4 Cloud, so. It was just a final smash. <laughs> he just got, he got to play with four final smashes, and you didn't. <laughs> it didn't go away, right? No, it did not go away, unless he used it. Well, uh, good thing in this game it does go away. Yes, that, that was a good change. Getting the forward air spike is super silly. Super silly. Good back air. Gonna put him off. Yeah, I was gonna. You can't really. You still can't really edge guard that. Well, with Cloud, you have to like sort of just trap him at the ledge. Oh, Ooh, that was a does great it early. climb hazard. Yeah. Yeah. Read that Steve Love was gonna try and go in for the uh, off stage situation there. They've been pretty tri uh, tied in neutral, actually, that first stock. And then yeah, here's where Cloud's going to open up. With yeah, there'll be a lot of like, evenish neutral uh, in this type of matchup. Yeah, it's just swinging swords oh. is what it is, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, he's he's got to find the kill. This is the issue with Lucina has. Like, it's relatively difficult to kill with this character. See, what is going for a lot of dolphin slashes at a shield, though, which, which isn't a bad good. option. It's, uh, I think it's frame one invincibility. No. It's not? No, uh, frame one? Are you kidding me? Frame three. Frame, oh, okay. frame one, imagine. Oh, I know. I have a... It's like, I, there's only, <laughs> there's only one... Uh, well, in this game, there's actually only one, and it's the Ouija. There used to only be one, and that was Ryu in Smash 4. Was it Shoryu? Ryu? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, same, as, same as Street Fighter. <laughs> and things are looking pretty bad for Steve Love now. He's... Way behind, just can't get the stock off. And he's got to approach. Like, Seabob oh. literally has to. Well, that was that was bad. Sure, I never... See, the argument of has to approach is never it's never too bad. In, especially in a matchup like this, where, like, you know, both players are, like, you know, playing, like, characters with swords, so they got to fight each other right away. Having to approach is never a huge deal. That should be an up throw, yep, yep. Finally dying at 200% is I mean, that being said, having to initiate everything. I mean, I don't think Super Soul is going to play in such a way where, like, him having to initiate everything matters. So dash attack that. Okay, never mind. Well, you were ready. Yep. Getting that down smash kill to JD3 this first game. What a way to open up Smash Land 122. That was a pretty good game uh, played from Super Soul there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Super Soul was definitely on but top like of the it, that game. I mean, it, it sort of just felt like Steve just fell apart after... Uh, after he just lost that first stock. Definitely, I could definitely see a much more even game playing out in game two, because like, again, he, he just kind of fell apart after uh, one bad thing happened. Whereas like, if he's able to get the first stock this time, because again, stock one was really even. Mm -hmm. I think C-Blob is actually pulling the trigger too much on Dolphin Slash out of shield. Nah, nah, let it rip. At, let, at high percent not, though, you're not gonna get the kill, because it'll be stable. that rip. Just let that rip. Cloud could totally space around it with back air. Something, you know? Yeah, no, but what if he doesn't? Let it rip. Oh, fire it off. Okay, that works. Oh, That's you better. see, that was something in game one we didn't see a lot of C-Bluff doing is side B. Like, Lucina's side B is not that bad. And it's a, it is a kill option at ledge. Yep. Ooh, okay, he was waiting for air dodge up. in. Yeah, that's what you're going to see with Cloud. You're just going to see a lot of vertical um, hits, honestly, with up air. And then he got that backer to push him off. He kind of trapped himself, but doesn't end up taking any damage for it. Or any punishment at all. No. In fact, it ended up working quite well. Okay. Right, you got to grab in those situations. Yes. Especially both these characters. They don't have, uh, like, break, blows, 14 he's, grabs. He's falling behind. Yeah, there we go. Super Soli breaking out the grabs. Cloud, Cloud doesn't really get anything from Grab, though, but it's still a conditioning tool. Yeah. The broken part is that he has one. 
All right, putting him off. All right, this is a good situation. This mm. is where you start your ledge trap. Yeah, I mean, he just kind of gave up the ledge for free. Yeah, right he didn't. He didn't even down tilt the ledge. No. Uh, when he went for the up, he held shield. There we go. See, let it rip. Just fire it off. Fire it off. I mean, Super Sally could be spacing this a little bit better. No. <laughs> no, just. Oh. Just no, he's trying to jump. Yeah. Sure, but even then, if he gets forwarded right there, he probably isn't making it back. Super Sully answering with some upbeats at a shield himself. Wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if he continues it. All right, back, back to some off. There we there go. There we go. That's the kill. That's yeah. the edge guard I'm looking for. All right. Now, you know, two more of those. Yeah, Cloud, Cloud one of those characters where their recovery is just, uh, you can just kind of hit them once when they're below the ledge after they're jumping. They're, they're gone, you know. It's so telegraphed, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Oh, you see, Super Sully's doing such a good job of keeping center stage. Sea Club cannot afford to be cornering themselves. Oh, no jump. He's done. He's done. Nice. All right. And look at that. Sea Club's going to take the lead. Like I said, he just needs two more of those. See, in this situation, if you're Sea Club, you want to hold on to center stage as much as possible. You do not want to give up ground. There's no need to overcommit to anything. There's no need to corner yourself. Oh, I don't. I disagree with that up smash. It doesn't even kill. No, he's like even if it doesn't. Oh, punish. there we go. Yeah, now, and now Steve is also utilizing a lot more grabs. Mm -hmm. Which, like, when you're ahead like this, it's great. And Smash is a great, like, stage for close quarter combat as well. Now the limit's charged. And that's yeah, yeah, right. Held on too long, oh, no. but he's fine. Yeah, but he still gets, what, three quarters of the limit? Okay, but who cares? It's just limit. <laughs> oh, just limit. It's, I've seen, I've seen worse. To me, that is just limit, not, oh no. I do not agree with that whatsoever. That was uh, interesting. That was, that was very weird. Oh, good backer. Oh, oh is that he dead? It. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. I told you, just two just more Just two more. <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, Sebo played that one way better. Like I said, I could see like a much uh, more interesting and close set after that game one. Yeah. It's like, that was all about uh, Super Soul just getting the early lead and Sebo kind of floundering after that. A uh, small battlefield. I, I actually like this. You know. I guess I get the layout, although it has a lot of the issues that like ended up happening on Smashville there. So I'll see if this works out for him. I'm thinking the two uh, platforms would be better for movement-wise for Super Sully than the one in the middle. One, go. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, just walk forward. Just walk slowly into Blade Beam. Oh, good just grab. Up air follow up. Very standard. We've seen it. Just the down throw up air. Uh oh. oh he, that was a great tech. He's case. swinging. Both swinging, really. Yeah, throw out a little bit more of those back air, Super Sully. You can you can hold so much ground with Cloud back air. Oh, good dodge. Oh, great dodge. And you know, I think the wave land actually might have pushed him above it. I mean, the, the normal jump also would have kept him above it too. Okay, good. I like that he's like recognizing that he should be going out there a lot more. Mm -hmm. Down now tilt. Now, Down yes, yeah, this, is where you, this is where you ledge trap. So you give up st um, ledge there for free when you don't ledge trap, and C Flub is just Ooh. oh that's dead, Lucina. C Flub just did not do a good job. I would have done it. Trapping. No. You know, let it rip, man. Like sometimes you just got you know just let it rip. What's the worst that could happen? You lose your stock? Not the end of the world. I guess not the end of the world when clouds at 98 percent. Yeah, that's it. Up he had a shield. Great shield to shield the the limit blade beam. Okay, oh, is able to get the punish, although it's in, not in the direction he wants. Another F tilt. Uh, yeah, and uh, did you see what uh, Seabolt did there for that F tilt? It just did an empty hop, which we haven't seen a bunch of that. Oh. They're both just gonna be swinging right here. All right, throws him back off. Here's ledge the situation. You it's like, ledge drop. Ah, uh, sure. I think he needs like to get like the kill there, actually. He, I will say he's playing a he's playing a bit too afraid of the ledge. <laughs> I mean it's nerve wracking when you're down a stock, you know. Uh oh. Just be a forward throw off stage. You know I would like to see Super Sully like face the ledge and limit blade beam. That'll work. Yeah man, I, this is bad. This is looking like game one, honestly. Yep. Just uh, Seeker Love isn't able to find like the edge cards that he needs. Mm -hmm. I think oh. it goes back to what you were saying. He's pretty nervous at ledge now. I see, let it rip. 
So you just hit him. Just hit him. One, oh, you can throw out another fair there. No, you actually can't make it in time. Yeah. Not at the trajectory he was going at. Down tilt again. All right, there, All right, it, there is. it is. <laughs> All right, now he needs two more of those. <laughs> just two more of those. <laughs> you said it once and it came true. All right, quick 14% with the dancing blade. Oh, yes, Ooh. he just let it rip, man. What's the worst that could happen? And that's another thing. Sea kind of abandoned the grab game plan. Because, like, game two is, like, fish it for a lot of grabs. It rip. Ooh, being above it's part cloud. of the strategy. A oh, force smash. smash. Oh, oh, come on. C come on, man. That was a pretty telegraphed grab punish, honestly. I'm back out of field. Oh, no, it just jumps no, right no, into no, no. it. Yeah, in that situation, you got to be prepared for a tech chase. You can't just expect no tech. Okay. All right, go out there. You got nothing to lose. Yes, that was there such a good go. baited air dodge. Yeah, an important thing in that situation is, like, it's always better to, like, wait. Because uh, you just want to see what your opponent's going to do. You want to see their panic option. All yeah. right, now he just needs one more of those. Oh, oh my goodness. And he's alive. He's alive. Whoa. That was Grab. Eight. Oh, you should have backed through. That, that was a situation up. where you should have backed through if you're C-Blub. Like, you want off stage and you want the cheese. He's still alive. Let it rip. Oh, no, nope, back air's going to take. It doesn't even need to exhaust limit. Yep, that was a good back air. Just reading the double jump there. It was it's almost smart. like a panic double jump is what it was. Yeah, the, a lot of people just double jump in that situation. You just want to put one high. I got to go? Okay, sure. Oh.